chapter 11, Awaken. So this is after he gets his ass beat, everything goes wrong. And now he needs to pick up the pieces where he left off. Kagurubachi, chapter 11, Awaken. Let's get into it. Oh. Ow. Broken leg. Ooh. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. He's reborn. Shh. Go back to sleep right now. Sorry, he's a bit much. Mr. Shiba, Mr. Azumi, where? You're in a public hospital. You'd better get treatment in the Kamunabi Hospital, but we don't want your lineage showing up in the records. There are members of the Kamunabi who don't think highly of Rokuhira. I know. Never mind that for now. Hey, what about Char and Hinao? Hinao's alive. Well, she's enough to be wolfing down my special coarsely chopped apples. Actually, let me full screen. That's good. The texture's gross. That's why it's good. Char should be alive. Should be. After that, first regarding Sojo's objective, here's what I got out of Cylinder Head. Sojo has some Datenseki. You know what that is, right, Chihiro? The Enchanted Blade source material. Datenseki is a unique ore that was discovered during the war. Only 250 kilos of it are currently known to exist. The spirit energy imbued into the stone multiplies. It becomes something so concentrated that it wouldn't be possible to contain in a human body. You mean? Yes. It's the same as the Enchanted Blades, but the power of the Daten Seki is toxic. When spirit energy pours into it, that condensed spirit energy streams into the person's body, unable to contain the energy. Then the body bursts, and they die. However, Kunishige Rokuhira was the only person to ever succeed in stabilizing that power. He's the only one able to make it work. The respirations are complete. Good. Let's add today's portion. Beep, 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 beep. But if only my dad could stabilize it. Sojo believes that the cells of the Kyonagi clan are the key to stabilizing it. That's why he wants to use the Datenseki and Char to create a new weapon. Use? Hmm. <laughs> Look at that sad, pathetic meal. We need her back. Remove her clothes. Gastronumius muscle 2. And the patellar ligament. Trapezius muscle 4. Infraspinatus muscle 4. Ligament 1. Got it? Begin. Psst. Set. Put the child back in her cage. Clink. Injecting. If we're using her flesh, wouldn't it be more effective to fatten her up? Don't be silly. We just have to shave it multiple times. Hmm. Because you thought you could trust me? Yeah. Uh -huh. Where's my sword? It's in a safe place. Thank you. I'm sorry. We underestimated him. We never imagined Sojo would ever evade the Kamunabi. On that note, the Kamunabi... Hey now. He just woke up. Let's not overwhelm him, okay? I'm fine. Please, tell me. After what happened, the Kamunabi are speeding up our plan to defeat Sojo, so we've quickly put together a counter-cloud Gugur special force. An elite core. Nobody knows as much about the Enchanted Blades as you. In order to conduct a more thorough operation, I want them to meet you. Hmm. I understand your hesitation, but please, trust me. It's okay. They all work directly for Azami. They're a good crew. Hmm. Fine. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. Hmm. Crew's looking cool. Whoosh. Huh? Oh! Wow. Listen to that echo. Is it because we're in a hospital? Shut up. We're in a hospital. Keep it down. We're in a hospital. Keep it down. Tch. I know. They're also a bit much. 
It's okay. Alrighty, let's get down to business. We investigated the site Sojo's goon told old Shiba about, but it was already emptied out. So we're conducting a new research. Oh, Shiba? Kid's got no respect. When we find his base, we we move. In the meantime, we need info from you to develop our strategy. Fine. On one condition. Let me join the operation. What? Hey now, that's ridiculous. You may be Kunishiga Roku Hero's kid or whatever, but if you think that grants you special treatment, excuse him. He's new here. He acts like a jerk when he sees youngsters with potential. Thanks to Chihiro, not a single bystander was injured during Sojo's public rampage. We can't just write him off. Ah, someone's acting jerky. True. What? A battle between two enchanted blades? And not a single bystander was injured? How did you not know that? Before we arrived, there was a huge flash of lightning, right? And no bystanders were injured. How? Well, I used my enchanted blade to absorb the lightning. Willing to sacrifice his own life for the citizens! Woohoo! What a hot-blooded dude! I wasn't trying to sacrifice my life. It seemed like Sojo wasn't too deep adept with the sword yet, so I figured it might be okay. He's cool. No, at the core, he's hot-blooded. Still, you've got some serious wounds, and the muscles of your left arm are shredded. Hmm. You won't be useful for another month. He fought Sojo armed? With an enchanted blade in that condition? Sorry, but we don't plan to wait that long for our mission. We started the search for his base five days ago when you collapsed. Five days? Five days? <laughs> Uh-huh. I've been out for five days? Yeah. And this whole time, Char. In that case, I'm definitely coming with you. Hmm. This guy looks familiar, huh? Well, unfortunately, our mission is to kill Sojo. Saving that kid isn't part of our assignment. What? But from what I gather, you're a hothead with a cool facade. Even if we told you to stay put, you'd probably sneak off, right? Leaving you alone is probably the most dangerous thing we can do. So, we'll kill Sojo, and in the meantime, you covertly rescue the kid. Considering your current state and your reckless nature, it's a flawless plan. Totally half-baked! Are you in? <laughs> I'm in. Bit of a contextual new characters. Pretty cool. I look like the guy with the glasses, huh? We have the same hair on the front. 